The tightly controlled photo opportunity to mark the Cambridge children's first day at school yesterday was in marked contrast to absurd claims made by Meghan last week. Meghan told The Cut magazine that if her son Archie attended school in the UK, she would never be able to drop him off or pick him up without it being a royal photo call with a press pen of 40 people snapping pictures. However, Meghan's school drop-off and pick-up description didn't sit well with some UK commentators and journalists. Chris Shipp, the royal editor for ITV, remarked it's usually only on the first cameras are allowed. The only time cameras are allowed for school run is on the first day at school, he tweeted. Furthermore, only two cameras are permitted. One TV, one photo, Ship added. They agreed to share the footage with other broadcasters and publications. It's simply wrong for Meghan to claim there would be 40 people snapping pictures, he concluded. Ship added that there are no cameras at the school run for George and Charlotte, and if there ever are, no UK publication buys them. Piers Morgan quickly commended the journalist for calling out Meghan Markle's lies. Richard Palmer, a royal correspondent for the UK's Daily Express, echoed Ship's comment. I'm afraid Meghan is a fantasist if she believes this would be a daily occurrence in the UK, where the IPSO News Independent Press Standards Organization code has strict rules about the treatment of children in education, he wrote on Twitter. The editor's code in the UK has strict rules to ensure that children are free to complete their time at school without unnecessary intrusion. Royal families are no different, which means William and Catherine have been able to undertake the school run routinely since George was two without a single photo of their children published in this country. But the couple also understand that the British public have a genuine and well-meaning interest in their family. To balance this with their desire for privacy, they've chosen either to issue their own photo of milestones or allow a small media group to capture the moments. Yesterday, just three people were present, a photographer, a TV cameraman and a print journalist. Mobile phones were not permitted, so as to not unnerve the children. The photo opportunity lasted under two minutes. Aid said William and Catherine appreciated the ongoing care the British press is showing around the privacy of their family. The tiny group was accompanied by a single Kensington Palace press officer who'd coordinated with the Duke and Duchess and the school. Around half a dozen protection officers dressed discreetly, kept carefully out of sight, with no other members of the media permitted to attend in order to keep the afternoon calm and relaxed for the nervous little royals. The media group stood a short and respectful distance away, watching the Cambridge family approach the school steps. They were quickly ushered away as soon as they entered the school. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan still haven't spoken to Prince William and Catherine, despite staying just 700 yards away on the Windsor Castle grounds. Dan Wooten has urged Prince Harry to drop an event on Thursday in order to visit the Queen at Balmoral Castle. While the Queen postponed her Privy Council meeting scheduled for Wednesday, after being advised by royal doctors to rest, Buckingham Palace has said. Dan said, They're currently at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor before their next engagement tomorrow. Yesterday, thought they were in Dusseldorf, Germany, promoting the Invictus Games 2023, and were seen on a walkabout outside the town hall chatting and taking selfies with onlookers, something they would struggle to do in Britain given they are generally greeted by booing crowds these days.